I have this very strange squiggly thing that's been wiggling around in my testicles. Yeah, like, what's going on? Oh, shit. Did we just go live? No, no, no. Uh, I'll start it here in a second. All right. We're, we're live, guys. <laughs> so, hello. It's the cook of a haggis. I am joined here with uh, S-Man. So, uh, S-Man, who, who is this reckless trucker guy and why should we care? <laughs> you shouldn't. You really, really shouldn't. All right. Okay, so... okay broadcast over. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll just ask this question, Reckless Trucker. Do you think it? Do you think it is abortion not to have sex with a woman? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, that, that was a that was a uh, argument reductio ad absurdum question that Ham was asked by Humane. <laughs> and me and me and Ham will always kind of laugh at that because I'm sorry if it's reductio ad absurdum to ask to ask that question then that then then I I really don't think people should argue that way it it, it it sounds like such a loaded question like hey Ham when did you stop beating on your roommate uh the <laughs> real question is when has my roommate stopped beating on me and well, the uh, real <laughs> question is when did I start beating off. And the answer is 13. <laughs> you know what's fucked up? <laughs> I, I, uh, I, I started jerking off before I realized I was jerking off. How? Yeah, I just need to waste some time. Like, I was beating my dick in my underwear real, and thinking, oh, this feels nice. Oh, I feel real nice. Oh, now I'm all messy. <laughs> you had some fucking issues, homie. I was very, very, very innocent back then. You so innocent, innocent, he was masturbating and thinking it was just a jolly old time, guys. Uh, I, I, until I took, like, biology class in middle school, I, I thought women just gave birth out of their assholes. Like Jesus. the fucking, uh, what, what was his name? Uh, like the old Dennis the Menace movie? They get the belly real big and they pull it right out the belly button. <laughs> Except mine is like <laughs> more more absurd because they're literally shitting out the baby. That's racist. No, I'm kidding. I have a relative that accidentally gave birth on the toilet. <laughs> is she like used to like really heavy shits or is she like so used up and worn out that she really... <laughs> No, no, my family uh, tends to have like really, like... really big hips. So, in my family, giving birth tends to be easy as fuck. Yeah, most Republicans are not conservative because what conservative values do they have uh, ah! that they hold consistently? Oh, no, I agree, but it depends on which type of Republicans you're talking about. There's a lot of diversity within the Republican Party. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. My, 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 uh, my... Right. Are you strangling an orphan in the background? <laughs> no, I'm masturbating furiously, you fuck. <laughs> but yeah, my, 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 my uh, argument as to why Bernie Sanders would win is he's more popular in the polls. Uh, uh, Donald, Donald, Donald Trump is a... Florida Walmart equals eye candy central, says Lonely Wolf. More like eye bleach central. Um... Well, I don't know about in Florida, but where I live, it's like 98% Hispanic. So no matter where you go, there's a chick with a really nice ass. Facts. The Hispanic booty is the booty for me, man. Yep. And and the black booty, you know. I think I just heard Dark Con aneurysm have, an, have a, an orgasm and an aneurysm at the same time with that statement. Sounds like it'd be fucking amazing. <laughs> Jesus. That, that that is that is that's that's fucking amazing, <laughs> dude. Well, it does, doesn't it? It'd be the ultimate pain and pleasure at the same time. It'd be some pinhead shit. Oh, oh God. Yeah, you know, whenever they hear someone like just left to center talk about common sense policies, they're always slandered with the label socialist. And that's what do you mean? I know. What do you mean? Common sense policy. Let's be very specific about that. Uh, Medicare for I, all. What do you mean by Medicare for all? 
Bernie Sanders, you know, plan for me for Medicare for all system, expand Medicare, replace the private uh, health care institutions. Oh, God, no. Oh, well, I mean, replace the private health care insurance institutions. Oh, that sounds stupid as hell. Uh, it, it's, it's, it sounds like uh, a plan to work and, you know, it works in a. Uh, you know, in, in many of the European countries. Let's get back on topic here. Uh, <laughs> no, we don't. All right, but yeah. No, okay, well, let's. Uh, I'll talk about that in relation to it. Okay, uh, let's say that Bernie Sanders and Trump get up on stage and they start. He brings out Medicare for all. Do you know what the average wait time is in Europe and European countries for their health care and countries that have socialized health care? Do you know what the popularity among? Uh, Medic, do you know? Do you know the popularity not of that, Medicare? Not, uh, for all? Answer, oh, answer my question. Answer my question. Fifty-one percent is the popularity of Medicare for all. Of, answer among, my question. Uh, answer my question. It's three to ten times longer than America. Depends on the country. The wait times in the ER are three to ten times longer. Uh, what's the like, what's the wait time for? You? Yeah, Chairview yeah. up in Canada, he had to wait 12 hours in the emergency ward to, just to have a nurse come and talk to him. If that shit happened in America, the hospital would get their ass sued off. Yeah, and wh why do we have people in America flocking to Canada for health care and cheaper drugs? Well, they're fucking idiots because you can't have Canadian health care unless you have a Canadian ID card. You can't yeah. get it unless you're a Canadian citizen. Uh, immigrants from the Middle East to Canada... They can't get the uh, Canadian health care, I think, for six years. Yeah. By they the have way, to be a participating member of the economy for six years before they're available for Canadian health By healthcare. the way, I, I just want to point out that the uh, myth that America, that wait times are so bad in, in uh, other countries, single-payer uh, uh, single health care countries, is just a complete myth. How so? I, the wait times are on average three to ten times, depending on the country you go to. It took Chairview, our friend Chair... 12 hours just to have a nurse sign him up in the ER. But that's the reality. Yeah, Look, no. You, you can either have good, expensive health care or shitty, free health care. There's no in between. The government sucks at doing things. And I'm going to take a point from Steven Crowder here. If you want an idea yeah, for how. Uh, fuck, no, fuck no, fuck no, 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 no. Let me finish. Let me finish. If yeah. you want to, yeah. if you want to see what government health care for all would be like, take the postal service and add cancer literally. Or you want, or you could take the single payer health care countries of Europe and just look at it. They also have extreme wait times. They Their don't. deaths from cancer are higher than America. Their infant mortality rates are higher or similar. They're, no, 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 uh, no, 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 no. fucking lie right there. No, let me no, finish. Let, let me finish. I said higher. Point. I said higher or similar. Okay. And also on top of that, wait times for x-rays are a thing over there. Wait times for x-rays in America, unless you're going to the VA, couple weeks at most a couple months in a lot of these european countries okay Your, the rates of death at the hospitals from untreated diseases are a lot higher why not because people postpone it like in america and then they go get treated and it costs more to treat because they postponed it but because they simply don't get treated because it can take you up to eight months to get a uh, an appointment for uh, immediately necessary surgeries I in America, want, I if you pay enough, you get bumped up on that fucking list. That's the thing. You either have decent, expensive health care or shitty, cheap health care. That's the way that works. Except except the social democracies of Europe have figured out how to get cheaper health care, which, they, it, which uh, on average, um, European countries pay like 10 to 12 percent of their GDP on health care, where the United States pays 18 percent, and they get far better results than we do. No, also, no they I, don't. I already I, went through it. I already went through that. What, what data? What data? I, I want to point out the fact that uh, infant mortality is higher in the United States than in comparable countries. Uh, comparable, yeah, well, comparable yeah, I said country. similar. Hey, 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 hey. Let, let him finish. Comparable right. country average is 3.4 per thousand live births. The United States is 5.8. The next highest is Canada at 
Then you go to Switzerland, United Kingdom, Netherlands. And they're all like, you know, four and below. Yeah. With, uh, Sweden at uh, 2.2. So yeah, but at yeah, that's not a big difference though. That's why I also added the marker it, similar. It, that's it, not it, a big enough a, difference it, for me to give a dude, shit. It's, it's a flat out fucking lie that I just caught you out in it. Yeah, no, because I said higher or similar. There's several no, European countries with socialized health care that are higher. higher. There's not a single really? one. Well, that data has changed in the last five years, then I'll go through it later and I'll see what it was five years ago. But anyway, also similar. One or two babies per 100,000, guess what? Shit happens. Americans so are also thousand. fatter. Yeah, well, guess, yeah, but guess what? Americans are also fatter. Fat women kill babies. That's the reality I, I, I there, just, too. I just wanted to point out to everyone that I just, just proved something, and he's just rolling over it like it doesn't matter. This is one of the... Key. No, no, <laughs> no. Okay, I, hey, I, hey no. stop it. Stop it. Because I already added the second. I always added the. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I already added the asterisk of similar. There, okay. There's, there's not a single one that's higher. So. One. Okay. I, and I already <laughs> and I already seeded that ground. So now you're just continuing by saying the same thing. Get over it. <laughs> okay, I already okay, agreed okay, with okay. you. I already agreed with you. Like ten minutes ago. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I, I, so, I, yeah. I, I, just, I just find it funny that you know a piece of evidence that you you stated is just flat out wrong and it doesn't All matter. Right, that's to you. now the fourth time you said it. No, it doesn't. Two two babies. Oh my god. Uh, you know why that two babies happens? I guarantee you, I know why. Because American women are fatter. That's why fat women kill babies. Oh my god. Or maybe or maybe better health care in in Europe. No, <laughs> the healthcare is not better. I've already went through that. The wait times are longer, longer. The deaths from very treatable diseases are higher. Okay. The deaths from immediately needed surgeries are higher. <clears throat> and you can say the healthcare is cheaper and they spend less on it. You know why that is? Because the government tells the doctor what he's allowed to charge for it. And that is fundamentally immoral. No, they don't have a uh, profit motive. They don't have shareholders that they have to turn a profit to. They don't have CEOs that they have to no. write huge checks to. So what? Here's the thing. They they tell the doctors what they're allowed to charge. All right? No, they don't. Yeah, they do. No, they, don't. they tell the prescription companies what they're allowed to charge. So uh, it's guess so what? That's guys fundamentally guys. Um, Yeah. And I think that's it's, it's fundamentally immoral. Prices. No, 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 no. When the government tells you you have to do this, it's not a negotiation. It, it, it is a negotiation when they're negotiating. No. The government just says you have to charge this much or we'll just take the formula and create it ourselves. That's what those governments do. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. That's the, okay. that's the government. The government tells you what you can and can't do. Good. For That's for the record, point. for the record, just saying no, they do, no, they don't, is not really much of an argument. But continue. Yeah. The point is that the government is a goddamn gun to your head when they tell you you have to do something or else we'll punish you. That's the reality. I mean, so you, well, you're saying would, it's a good thing for the of... government. You're saying it's a good thing for the government to use force to make something happen. When what they're doing is they're affecting the paychecks and livelihoods of these doctors who worked for eight years to get that job. Okay? I don't think the government has any right to say what somebody else gets to charge. That's a you can negotiate that with your own doctor. The government should have no job in the, have no place in there. Let's see. That, uh, that's fundamentally it, immoral. Let's see, in the Netherlands and Australia, their uh, surgeons are paid higher than the ones in the United States. Yeah, because nobody bothering to become a doctor there because the shit tons of regulations that are even worse than America. And if you look Kinda at easy. Uh, and if you look at um ratio Oh, to in the Netherlands, that's uh well I might be getting another country mixed up with the Netherlands area but i believe it is that native born doctors get paid more uh immigrant doctors get paid a lot less all right so we've talked about bernie sanders and donald trump and uh 
I guess we can go on to level of, of government involvement if we haven't already in people's lives. Then atheism and guns. I think we've... Did we uh, let's get rid of that first one because this has already gone on for quite a while, you know? All right. All right. So Do you agree, we, Ham? Yeah. All right. I, let's go on to atheism because we talked about guns and level of government. So this will be the last topic. Uh, let's go on atheism. Let's go. Yeah, I, I, I like to talk about atheism again because... One, all, all of this is just an exercise in philosophy and stuff. Yeah, and, I agree. Even theology is nothing more than philosophy, really. I mean, pretty much is philosophy. Prop, prop, proper theology, I should say. Not uh, my religion is correct theology. Fuck that theology. So what what, 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 what exactly do you identify as? Uh, uh, personally, I identify as an, uh, as an atheist, as in... A person who believes that no God exists. You go on by the um, academic definition of uh, right. atheist. Right. Uh, I would say uh, I myself am a non-religious monotheist. I'm essentially a deist, but I think deists are assholes. Isn't that like <laughs> essentially a, a classical theist? It, well, you can think of it as a theist that doesn't like organized religion. I mean, and doesn't follow any particular religion. That's a that's a that's a theist, right? No, 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 no. Uh, in the American context, uh, theist tends to be a uh, Christian apologist. Well, but we're, we're not we're not we're going by you know actual academic definitions. Of I, words. I know. I just got to make the clarification for viewers and other people that just might not know. You know. Well. <laughs> The, but, um, the, the, the people who, keep, who, want, who want to change the definition of atheist or theist to whatever weird uh, shit they want. Theist means you think God's up in the clouds. <laughs> Fuck those guys. Uh, and also the people who think atheist means uh, does not believe in a God. Um, if, if, if you're so concerned about, you know, you know, you don't want to have that claim, that burden of proof. Just, just identify as an agnostic. Well, I would say, yeah, well, that's true. But I would also say that the problem is that either way it could be uh, phrased, even in an academic sense, as making the claim. That, that's the issue with it, uh, atheism. It could go either way, making the claim or not. I mean, it, that's it, the big it, contention. It, 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 it. I mean, the, 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 you're not making a claim. You're making a, a statement about belief. Making a statement about a belief is making a claim. I'm not really. Almost, making a statement is making a claim. It's a fucking synonym. It literally is a synonym. Not really. Okay. Yeah, okay. We're just starting to get into semantics. Let's, let's continue the conversation. <laughs> that's that, that's All right, um, largely about is semantics. That's true. Well, that, that All right, true. well... Okay, well, I actually done a lot of odd thinking about this, and so if you don't mind, Ham, I'd like to go first with my statement about why I think it's logical to believe that God exists. Go. Yeah. And in case any fucking morons get there, I'm not talking about a Christian God. I'm talking about my own odd philosophy of God. You might figure it out as I go along. Anyway, <laughs> uh, well, the reason I would think it's logical that God exists is the fact that, one, we know that the universe has an age. Approximately 14 billion years, I think, or 13.5, oh. something like that. It, it, it's undeniable reality and scientific fact that the universe has an age. Agreed? Ham? 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 S-Man, I'm sad. What's going on? I think Ham... I, I don't know. I think Ham has had an aneurysm. Uh, so if Ham doesn't respond within five seconds, he officially endorses Trump 2020. And he converts to uh, Islam. I, I, I'm gonna have to uh, go real, uh, real quick. I'll be, I'll be back soon. I got hand to handle uh, some work. All right, bro. All, all right. right, I'll be back. Talk, 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 talk amongst yourselves about how much I'm a libtard cuck. Uh, uh, I got a thing. Uh, he's such a libtard cuck that uh, uh, he has a picture of Trump on his uh, ceiling. No, I actually, I, I, I think. Uh, <laughs> There's this meme of AOC and Bernie Sanders, Fifty Shades of Socialism. That meme just made me fucking die. It was pretty great. <laughs> oh, you didn't see when I posted it in the Abort Democrats chat group? Uh, I, I, I think I may have. I'm. When did you post it? Because I've not been on Twitter in a couple days. Oh, months ago, bro. 
Oh, oh yeah, then I, I most likely saw it, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's fucking great, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um uh, it was it was fantastic. Um believe me it was a it was a huge improvement uh, of the day to see that meme. Oh yeah. My favorite meme that's been going around about these two uh is a uh expansion of the cheeseburger fifteen dollar minimum wage meme. Have you seen that one? Uh I th- I, I believe so. Let me uh yeah, there's a there's a cheese on the side of the cheeseburger, just laying on top and on the side of the cheeseburger, and it says, "Sure, I'll pay you fifteen dollars minimum wage, asshole." <laughs> you know, <laughs> and uh, then they, then it has uh, pictures of uh, AOC and Bernie Sanders caught in awkward positions with cheese on the side of their face. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Fucking great. <laughs> that, oh, that, that's amazing that's my main issue for not liking the $15 minimum wage is that quite frankly some people just don't deserve it They're, the work they put in isn't worth it if you're, gonna, if you're gonna put the cheese on the side of the burger you deserve to get paid like shit asshole <laughs> you know like oh but I can't yeah. eat well work harder asshole <laughs> it sounds mean and unempathetic, and it is. I'll own that. You know, if you don't earn, if you don't earn your bread, you starve. That's my position. <laughs> so, uh, what's been going on with you, Trucker? Oh, extraordinarily masturbatory content, man. <laughs> I just have a great way of phrasing perverted shit, don't I? Damn right. <laughs> but no, um, I'm in New York City, right? Yesterday, a friend of mine works at a club here. He invited me to the club. He got me in, right? And I was there dancing, some chicks on my on my dick, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, everybody got kicked out of the club because some, apparently, this is what I heard, some asshole tried to do like the old Western saloon, start a fight, bar fight by smacking somebody's head with an uh, alcohol bottle, right? Mm-hmm. It fucking bounced off the guy's head and went flying out of his hand. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Didn't even knock the guy out, apparently. Just made him really fucking mad with a goose bump on his head. Goose egg on his head. To be fair, I think anyone would be really pissed off if uh, uh, that happened. I remember... Um, a friend of mine told me a story of when his grandpa used to be kind of a dickhead and was rather irresponsible, and he just hit this really tall black guy on on the head with a with a uh, bowling a bowling uh, uh, you know those pins. Didn't the guy didn't Ooh. even flinch. guy didn't even flinch and just beat the holy shit out of him? And his grandpa spent the night in jail when he was younger, but he turned into like you know a man after that. But I cannot nope. imagine getting hit in the head with a bowling pin. And not getting my ass knocked out cold. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm I'm fucking weird when it comes to like getting my ass knocked out because it just doesn't happen. Uh, I used to be in the Navy ROTC in my school, right? Mm. And I was a fucking airhead. We were playing soccer, and I went to grab the soccer ball that went flying off the field. Right around the corner, I I don't even remember what it's called. Oh my god, when they're doing the flippy flips with the fake uh, when the ROTC it was fake with the fake guns. You know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I got hammered on the downspin right on the back of my skull. And I blacked out for less than a second because I woke up just in time for my face to hit the ground. Yeah. And, oh, my God, dude, I had the biggest headache for three days straight. Yeah. um, I think the thing that would hurt worse, though, is dealing with a pinched nerve in the neck. I've had yeah. I, yeah, I I remember waking up with a pinched nerve, and I wanted I wanted to die. Like You're talking about like the muscle spasms that you would get when you're growing. Uh, I, or I is it actually that. pinched by the uh, spinal column? I think it's just the thing when you're growing, but I got it right into it on the part of the neck, and it, it hurt like a bitch. Getting getting yeah, it fucking would. Getting dressed, it was the worst. Dealing with uh a pinched nerve in the neck, like, ugh. Well, I think so. You're literally getting a pain receiver pinched. Like yeah. the pain receiver itself, not the area close to it. It. Yep. 
By the way, sorry about that noise that came on. It's too fucking hot in New York right now. I put on the AC. Meaning it's I turned right. on my truck. It's all right. Um, I wonder when Ham's going to get back because I want to see uh, him try to answer uh, on, on the religion thing. Um, well, not religion, God. Oh, God. Or as he calls it, Gord, as he likes to mock Brett Keen. Oh, that's so dumb. But anyway, oh, wait, mock who? Brett Keen. Brett Keen? Yep. <laughs> not even aware of who that is. Uh, he, he's a religious flip-flop. Uh, so he has basically no more no principles in his body on religion. Like I think he's been a part of a. Um, I th- he's been a. I, I'm gonna have to look this up, but I remember uh, something about uh, him flip flopping a lot. The Dude, guy, have you been seeing what's happening to Tim Huggins? Uh, not really. Uh, what's been going on? Uh, he used to be like not conservative at all. But you know, like a uh, like a Tim Pool liberal, mm-hmm. and uh, and if you ever listen to this, you come across this Tim. I still love you to death. I remember the old school days, but quite frankly, your change in behavior is weird. And uh, like he's now like Mister Super Stoic, and he's one of them guys that declares himself an ally to all the LGBTQs and believes in white privilege and shit. Mm-hmm. Like, how the fuck can you be a Stoic? And th- believe in uh, racialized privilege, like that. That that doesn't work, motherfucker. The point of stoicism is that everything is within your own personal control, and it's up to you to figure out how to do that within your own mind. But the point of racial privilege, white privilege, is that everything's outside of your fucking control. Hmm. You know, it's a, it's an inherent contradiction. Yeah, holy shit! Brett Keen is Brett Keen has has totally white hair, yet he's only forty two years old. <laughs> Dude, I got a friend who he's like twenty five, and his hair already uh, he's got a skunk stripe in it completely naturally. <laughs> it looks cool as fuck, but that means by the time he's like thirty five, he's gonna be white haired. Yeah. Looks like some fucking anime character. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> oh, and it's funny because this guy hate, hates weebs, man. Which is also funny because I'm kind of a weeb. Oh God, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a body pillow stands up on its own weeb. Don't worry, it's not that tragic. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, okay, I, I was gonna say. <laughs> Yeah, no, I just like anime. I know a few of the terms. I identify as Japanese. <laughs> I, I, made, I made the mistake of one time when Loma Wolf said this term. I made the mistake of Googling Poco no Pico. <laughs> uh, I, I still have not fully forgiven Lonely Wolf uh, for, for uh, suggesting. Well, it was my fault for looking it up, but I... But for the fact he suggested that I Google it. Oh, uh, you know what else you should Google? Oh, God. What? what? No, I'm, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> yeah. um, no, man. Go on to... Uh, what the fuck's the name of that website? I can't even remember right now. Uh... Oh, I remember. Hbrowse.com. All right, it, it's a hentai website. Uh, it's a hen- manga hentai website, manga porn website. All right, it's one of those. And there's an option near the top of it called Advanced Filters, and it has all the terms. And you could you could literally click all the most fucked up terms it has, and s- somebody has made that manga porn, that hentai. Oh my god! Right, you. It don't matter how creative with the fucked up terms you get. Somebody made it, dude. It's it's fucking weird flipping through that website. <laughs> now I know what to suggest a, a crusader do because that would be hilarious to see him do that. <laughs> Where is right? 
do an adult only live stream of uh, flicking through that website, watch out because it is manga porn. So therefore, like uh, the Lollicon and the ShadowCon shits on there. Ah. Just, just saying, yeah. Like they they don't censor themselves at all. Like one of the categories you can click on that apparently is rape. Jesus Christ. No, right. Not even that, uh, like, where they try to say it's not rape, but it is non con. Just straight up rape is, a, is an option for advanced filtering. Oh my right. God. That, that is, oh my God, that's awful. Right. Like, who the fuck runs this website that they're like, yeah, we can put rape in there. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, that That's just, Jesus. Um,. <laughs> Now the stream and his entire channel will never be monetized. <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure if any uh, individual people from YouTube actually review that stream, they're they're going to say uh, to to compensate to, for compensation for their mental trauma, they're going to need all the revenue you ever get. Dude, I bet you that's going to happen one day. Some reviewer is going to have to review a video, and it's actually going to be something horrendous and fucked up. You're going to get traumatized and sue YouTube. Yeah. And that'll be uh, horrendous because YouTube has to figure out how to, at that point, not let their reviewers see that shit. But at the same time, they're going to be innocent people caught up just because the algorithms are retarded. Yeah. Like, they're going to have to, like, be writing off on consent forms that say, you know, you may come across rape or some shit like that. Yeah. Lonely Wolf says in the chat, there are... I googled it. What the fuck? <laughs> exactly, Lonely Wolf. Exactly. Uh, which one? Which one? I think he googled hbrowse.com. Oh, yeah, dude. That website is fucked up. <laughs> like, it, it is genuinely the worst English uh, translation uh, one I've ever seen. I, I, I went on in, uh, incognito and looked at it for 10 seconds before concluding that I would prefer not to gouge my eyes out with a uh, Oh, there is. Blade. Oh, yeah. By the way, furry is an option in advanced browsing now. <laughs> I came across that the last time I was flipping through it just to have a laugh. Ah, motherfucker. <laughs> but, yeah. And, hey, Kyle, what's up, home slice? What the fuck? Hey, Kyle, how's it going? Uh, 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 the lip tart. I'm just kidding. Ham is out of the. Uh, it's out of the. Is out of the building right now. Uh, probably crying because. Uh, oh, I fucking oh. plowed his ass about that CO2. No. <laughs> Lonely Wolf says no. I was curious about skunk furries. I didn't know skunks were for Sona choices. Oh Jesus Christ. Thank God it's I didn't the it. it's the it's the ultimate anal. Did your mind just fucking break, S man? S man. Exe has stopped responding. <laughs> 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 like, oh my god! Uh, uh, where the fuck is this guy? Ham, if you don't if you don't show up, I'm gonna start recording the stream that I'm on. No. <laughs> Oh my God, that that would be that would be uh, that would be a laugh riot. Um, <coughs> start reporting this stream for the shit that I say. <laughs> oh my, God. oh boy, that I can only imagine how that would go over. Like if you literally did that. Um, oh, Ham would have an aneurysm, and rightfully so. Well, yeah, even more of an aneurysm than when uh, we kept muting him when he kept inter interrupting us because of. Uh, he didn't like our criticisms of single payer health care. That that was genuinely the funniest thing ever, because he, kept, <laughs> he he just kept screaming the n word over and over and over again. It's like, dude, come on, calm like, the fuck down, take some Ritalin. We probably have to pop a few Zannies after that fucking disaster. <laughs> it, it it was. It was genuinely, like, the best live stream ever. Uh, oh, send it over, man. I want to see that shit. All right, I'll send you the edited version because that I, I drew um, the avatar uh, um, 
over Ham's actual avatar because, let's be honest, everyone, uh, it makes Ham's avatar look angrier, and he's kind of an angry guy sometimes, so it fits. So. Right. He was saying he wants to change his avatar, but like honestly, he shouldn't because that's actually a damn good avatar. Yeah. Let me see. Uh, Dark Con made the video. I'll send it. Uh, do you have Discord? Uh, yes, but I don't really use it. Okay, I will post the, the link in the uh, Hangout. Let me go back to the uh, page. You didn't destroy him enough, and he's disappointed. He's smacking around his own prost... <laughs> <laughs> you nasty fuck. <laughs> oh my god. He'll be back when he nuts. That's the thing, though, about that, uh, the environmentalism argument, man. Like, I know my shit when it comes down to the chemical level of the atmosphere and stuff like that. Nobody can deny that. And my response when people are like, this environment will get wrecked is, so the hell what? Environments get wrecked all the time. What I'm concerned about is actually being able to breathe. <laughs> I posted the link in the uh, live chat. Hashtag uh, mic drop. Ghost of dead Kyle up in here. How's... Oh, I think I just forgot. What, Alabama or whatever? I don't remember. <laughs> no, it's one of them states full of bayous and guys that talk like this. Sweet Home Alabama, you just reminded me of for some reason. Oh, dude, I got a picture of myself on my Facebook thing at the Sweet Home Alabama. Made my hair look like a mullet and everything. Their sign, you know, their sign says Sweet Home Alabama. Yeah. But, you know, the things I'm concerned about when it comes to the environment and atmospheric content are a lot more pressing than, oh, no, some hurricanes. Uh, and, mo and most people don't realize this kind of shit. Yeah. Hey, uh, what do you call... Hey, what's a virgin in Alabama, Wolf? Do you know? <laughs> it's a chick that can outrun her brothers. <laughs> oh, I love that joke. <laughs> hey, Kyle, Kyle, I got a question about your state there, Alabama, I believe. I is it true that when you get a divorce in Alabama... She's still your sister. <laughs> <laughs> I, I say that one over my uh, CB radio all the time. I'll be like, guys, I got a serious question about the state of Alabama. You know, this is my first time driving through it. And somebody will take the bait if there's anybody on their CB radio, right? Yeah. I'll ask that question. And these truckers are all stressed out driving all the time and stuff. So they can't take a fucking joke. Damn goddamn motherfucker, you better hope I don't find you. And I'll look around and I'll find someone else's truck. And I'll be like, yeah, I'm the guy in that yellow truck over by mile marker, blah, 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 motherfucker. I dare you come and get me. <laughs> <laughs> I said that one time and it was actually the fucker in that truck. So he <laughs> knew I was really close to him. I was like, I'm just going to slow the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that's perfect. Right? Yeah. He never found me, so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Although I did get about 40 minutes of two rednecks looking for me over the CB radio. I had to, I was acting like I wasn't laughing and everything. But, you know, in case they drove up by me, they, you know. <laughs> and, right? One of them drove, one of I'm not sure. I think it was one of them because he was looking around, but I don't know. You know, they didn't describe what the trucks look like. Ugh. I got another great story about being on the road, man. Uh, do you know that? I think it's the Louisiana Bridge, the longest bridge in the world. Yes. Right. So I was about to get near the end of that bridge, right? Yeah. And over the radio, this guy comes in and he goes, hey, just... Watch out, everybody. There's a gator up the road on the bridge headed, you know, northbound, well, uh, west, eastbound, right? Yeah. And trucker wording, a, ga a road gator, 
is a peeled off tire on the side of the road, right? Or on the road. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, I just have to keep my eye out and make sure not to run it over because these things will whip back and pop your tires, right? Yeah. So I get about two miles up the road, and there's an actual goddamn alligator on the side of the road. Just sitting there. <laughs> like, what the fuck, alligator? I guess he was trying to cross through the land part instead of the water part 15 feet away. Yeah. Carded ass creature. <laughs> no, dude, they're fucking hide and they're bones and they're so strong, man. If you'd actually hit that, I would have that would have tipped over a car and it would have pop, probably popped a tire of a truck. That's the freaky part about them. God damn it, Ham, this is your live stream. This is a dereliction of duty. I, I moved to have Colt of Ham impeached. Impeachment. Wait, 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 wait. This isn't a this isn't a fucking republic or a democracy. This is mob rule. Yep. 